Kiev is actually one of the worst affected cities in Ukraine. If across the country, Ukrainergo, the main electricity supply company, says that about half of the country's needs are currently being supplied. In Kiev, it's worse. Only some 30 percent of residents of the capital have got electricity at the moment. And DTEC, one of the main electricity generation companies, its top manager said yesterday that probably people in Kiev today were only going to be seeing their electricity connected for two to three hours, if at all, before, he said, moving on to a system of rolling blackouts, more like what was in place before the most recent wave of attacks, which still meant that people in Kiev were having their electricity cut off for um, as much as 12 hours a day, as much as half the time. Depends on the area. Some people were having cutoffs that were less long. So this recent wave of attacks uh, seems to have been particularly effective uh, for the the Russians in terms of how badly Ukraine's electricity system has uh, been hit. And that, of course, has had knock-on effects on the water supply because the pumps don't work, which also can affect central heating. In this area where I am now, uh, which is the area where I live, we don't have uh, the heating on at the moment. There are hopes that this will shortly be rectified but because, of course, with the temperatures being what they are, uh, people can't live uh, very long, uh, at least not in any kind of comfort at all, uh, without their, their central heating working. So that's going to be the priority. People expect the heating to get back on soon. But the electricity, it looks like that's going to be a lot more complicated. And apart from the electricity, what has also been um, a much worse um, aspect of this most recent wave of attacks has been how it has affected the telephone and internet networks. Very, very serious problems with connectivity in recent days. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president, uh, commented on that uh, yesterday evening, saying clearly this is something the Russian are trying to do deliberately to stop Ukrainians communicating with each other. And he promised that the government was working on a solution, though he didn't give any further details.